shit starting your semester Unpacking your suitcases, filling up your dresser Enjoy it while you got it, after that it's God bless you Life is your professor, know that bitch is gone test you I got some What's some advice that you would give them? Don't give up. Keep pushing, bro. Just keep pushing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The drawing board and stuff, man. Lock in. You lock in. I'm, I'm actually looking um to work with different designers and stuff. And start, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been doing everything by myself. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather have like a little team or something. You know what I mean? Team. Team. Yeah, team, teamwork. Team. That's a word that keep popping up in my life a lot. Yeah. Every time a nigga talk to me is about a team. I'm like, why do niggas, why do niggas keep talking about a team? Then I realize <laughs> it's like that shit just it's needed. It's needed, but you definitely need a good team because I done seen bad. I done seen shit fuck up some shit where you was better off doing it by yourself. You know what I mean? Because you had the wrong niggas or you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-mm. How hard do you think it is to sell a nigga on a dream? To like, cause like for a good cohesive team to get something done. Everybody has to be sold on this one thing that everybody is reaching for. Well, I mean, I think in order to make that work, you got to damn it. First of all, honesty, you got to let them know exactly what it is and what it ain't. Yeah. And you really have to know who you asking to be on your team. Is this person a role player? Like, if I'm asking you to help me out, is you like, is you a nigga that damn it, you want to be in the limelight or is you a nigga that want to? Or is you nigga that want to see some shit build? Like, you, you really got to know who that person is. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, like what? Like, damn near. I mean, like, you would think your friends would be the best teammates. But sometimes your best teammates might not be niggas you've been growing up with. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, or niggas that you just met. You'd be surprised. Like, it, I click with people I only met within a month faster than, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people I've been knowing. Yeah. So. Definitely. That's crazy. Man. Yeah. That's that's crazy. <laughs> that's real though. It's that's, real. that's definitely real. Cause I met a lot of people and it's like, damn, I would rather do this with you than kick it with somebody that I've been. That time that time shit don't mean nothing, bro. Yeah, it don't. Damn. It's all about it's all about a feeling. Like you know when it's right. Yeah, you know when it's right, bro. Like Yeah. So technically you really gotta be open to it. You gotta be, open. be like Hell nah, I can't choose my homeboy over this nigga. Like, I just met this nigga. Yeah. But it's like, bro, he's the one bringing value to your name. Facts. Bro, just been here making you, you know what I'm saying? Bro, just been here like, you ain't got to cut nigga off. But, but see, we was damn near having a conversation about this because it's like, at the end of the day, it comes down to trusting somebody. And like, none of this other, the other shit that we just talked about. It's like, if you leave him with something, leave with this. Hey man, for all y'all that's out there, I got a generic thing, you feel me? You just got to be yourself. Yeah. You good. You keep going. You feel me? You just got to be yourself. I turned the negative into a positive. I'm fat as hell, but I'm having that swag. And now I'm fat swag. You smell me? Yeah. Try to be more in tune with yourself. Actually learn and study yourself and and find out the things that you like and stuff that you take interest to. And and really just put more time into yourself, your health. Um, uplift yourself. Uplift that nigga spit. Yourself. Because at the end of the day, all you got is yourself, honestly. So... I fuck with y'all young niggas, man. Yeah. <laughs> be selfish when it's time to be selfish. Mm. That's what I'm gonna say. Go ahead, join y'all niggas in the middle of the couch. Do it. You got one. Damn, I ain't normally right here a bit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this shit cool though. I mean, like obviously on the on the highest level of everything that I'm doing, but it's like I wanted to say this earlier too. It's like the more things you complete the more you want to complete, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'll be like, for example, oh, I don't model for the athlete's foot. But really in the moment, I'm like, okay, the athlete's foot after like it happens, but I want to model for Bottega. I want to model for Louis. Hello. I'm like, I'm like, after I'm, okay, then after I model for Louis, after I model for Bottega, yeah. I want to do this. I want to have my own show. Okay, after I have my own show, I want to create this. So it's like, the more you complete, the more the more things you want to do, mm-hmm. which is why I feel like when it comes to just creative ideas in general, I'll never run out because I have so much shit in store and so much shit that comes into store in the process of completing these things. <laughs> we see a lot of people, and I'm not to say like the creative juices run out, but what you just described was being like hungry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You harvest for more. A lot of people, which this is had to, this is a mistake that we can't make because we didn't seen it happen too many yeah, times. Like yeah. we gotta be aware of it. They get exactly what they wanted and they're content. Yep. 
not to last forever, right? Yeah. So you gotta keep going. Okay. You can't stop and sit on the. You can't stop and sit by the road. It's like the the tortoise and the um and the hair race story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He running fast, but he's stopping. He's slowing down. He doing everything else, but getting to that motherfucking finish line. Yeah. The tortoise taking it one step at a time. He said, "Okay, I took this step." And take that step. You feel me? Just like the tortoise that. was yeah. never content throughout the race. Exactly. The hair was. So it's like you almost you don't know. Like you just can't. Mm-hmm. You, I'm starving right now. <laughs> Not fact. I'm starving right now, nigga. But I don't want to be starving later. Mm-hmm. But I gotta remain hungry. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Can't get comfortable. But can't get comfortable. You can't. It's like, it's like, like you, you just explain that shit in the most perfect way, bro. It's like <laughs> you, you can't get comfortable. You can't get content with that shit because it's like the moment you do, the moment you back off, take your foot off the pedal. It's like the rest of the car is compassion. Like, hey, you just gotta let go. You feel me? Let go of a lot of things, bro. I, sometimes, like, sometimes people may steer you in the right way. Yeah. Thinking this with love, but sometimes you just know your own way. You feel me? Like you just you just gotta follow your own path. Like for example, like a lot of people, my mom was telling me to go to school, go to school, go to school. But I had to block that off. Like I had to fake ignore her and just focus on my own path and then do what I have to do. You feel me? That's the reason why I'm in the position I am. So like you can't let anybody like be a factor in your life to mess up what you want to have going on. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to be a woulda, coulda, shoulda type of nigga, bro. You feel me? I'm still fighting that till this day. Like that's why I grind every day right now because I don't want to be that woulda, coulda, shoulda type of nigga. Oh yeah, I could have been the biggest streamer. Uh-uh. Nah, bro. You just have to like, bro, you just gotta keep on going, going. And if anyone says otherwise, don't give a fuck. You just you that's real life. Just don't give a fuck. Mm. Do what you have to do. Don't give a fuck. If you want to be a fashion designer, want to make drip clothes, don't give a fuck. Do it. If a nigga say you ask, okay, don't give a fuck. I'm using I'm using this hate as motivation. I'm using you feel me? Or I'm using this constructive criticism as motivation to make my shit better. You feel me? So like it don't give a fuck. Just do it and don't take things personal, bro. That's one thing in life. You if you take things too personal in life, it fucks you up. Fuck you in your ass every time. Pause. Dead ass. Like you could you could be talking to another person. You could talk to this person right now. You don't know who he is. And he may say a joke and you take it personal. You probably fucked up your whole bag of life. Never take shit personal. On the real shit. I'm not like dead ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about it's not about me. It's not about I'm gonna tell you why I gatekeep. Because I have helped a lot of people out, but a lot of people was hitting me up about how do you do this, how do you do that? That never even cared. Yeah. Never even cared when I was going through and you see me struggling. You see me, you didn't care back then, but now that I got something where it's another source for you, or maybe it's around for you, you came to ask me. So now you hit me up and you ain't never talked to me before. So it made me feel some type of way. But you know, it's crazy. I still helped out people. The same person that did me wrong and that literally threw me to the side when it came time to be in that group, I helped him. He literally asked me, yo, what phone should I get? Yo, this and that. Texting me nonstop asking me. But wasn't it just four or three weeks ago that she was just telling me, like, yeah, you're not in the group no more. Like, come on, bro. Like, how you asking me for help? But you just kicked me to the curb. And I still helped him. You want to know why? Because God told me to turn the other cheek. I was about to say, because, it's important you, yeah, you got that characteristic. Yeah, right? like, like, he told me to turn the other cheek. And that's what helped me be successful is because I'm forgiving. I forgive you. I ain't going to forget. Never forget. But I forgive you. You know what I'm saying? And I understand why people do certain things. I, well, sometimes I don't understand. But at the same time, people have their own... Thought process. Uh, yeah, their own yeah. thought process. And they do people dirty just out of being selfish. But at the same time... That's not me. So I'm not finna be that person. Yeah. I'm not finna fight fire with fire. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you, okay, yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. Cause at the end of the day, nobody can beat me. You know what I'm saying? Hello. You know what I'm saying? So nobody can be me. So even if I give you the sauce and you go stream and you do your thing, bro, you doing your thing, bro. It's enough for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody kicked me to the curb and didn't want to see me eat or win, don't mean that I don't want to see you eat or win, bro. Cause at the same time, now I'm I'm eating and winning. We both eating and winning, bro. But I ain't I'm gonna stay in my lane. You stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't yeah. finna, I ain't finna slime you out like you slime me out, cause Yeah, I know y'all niggas. What y'all niggas? I feel like I'm gonna Take it. I'm gonna talk about the relationship shit since, since that's why music be on. Okay. Mm. Uh, what I've learned in, throughout my healing process is that I, the only way to move past something 
is to talk about it. Face that. And, and you're not gonna want to talk about it because, like, talking about it is when it's real. Like that shit is right in front of you. Like everything that you feel that's in the back of your head comes to the front the second you start talking about it. Like you going to be calm when you start talking about something. By the end of the conversation, you just realize you've been yelling for the past 30 minutes. <laughs> but that's that emotion that's coming out. That's supposed to come out. That's the only way you feel better. Yeah. So I'm going to just say like, get you, find you, your mans, your best mans. And y'all sit down and y'all like just talk about whatever you feeling because like, they gonna listen and you gonna feel like better by the end of it. So like, don't be afraid to fucking like address, you, address how the fuck you feeling about that shit. Like, preach. You feel me? Like, that's the only way. That's, that's the only true. way. It's a process. Cut deal with that one bit, bro. You just had. Yeah, yeah you definitely try to put, put like, some money in our pocket. Always go get that shit yourself. So that's why I just never ask. Like, I get that shit myself. Even if it was about some food, some gas, like figure it out. Never ask. Figure that shit out. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I fuck around. Like one day I fucked around, found ten dollars. In my pocket, needed some gas. Uh, <laughs> I think you probably said, "Thank you, Jesus." Thank you. I always but, just like it's God for me. Like, yeah, I know He there. And for for like with me, I feel like as I got older, it was more so like, nah, I'm not asking for nothing. Like, you, ever, I don't think I. You get to that point where it's just like you get this like awakening where like you know one day you're not gonna be able to ask for on God. So it's like I'm not even ready. Yeah, I ain't even ready to keep. I ain't even ready to ask you for that shit because there's been plenty of times my mom be like, you know, you can like. Ask me for things, right? And it's just like, I'd rather you just ask me for things and I can figure that shit out and give it to you. Because it gets to a point now, I'm going to be like, how the fuck you getting all this money? And I just be like, God, I just give it to God, bro. That's really all you can do. Yeah, I was just telling somebody like that. I remember during the summertime, bro, I used to Instacart like for like hours during the day to make $150. Now I can go do three story promos and make 200 damn near. Like doing spark, bro. The Virginia Instacart I mean, was crazy. I could never do no shit like that. Crazy, was, crazy. I mean, in high school, it was just my brand, bro. That shit paid shit. for everything. Yeah, I remember you showed. Me, I, was, I remember you showed me the first shit you did, but I wasn't even making no money for it. I do your dreams. That's real. Hell yeah. And last thing you want to be is like an old head talking about, oh yeah, I could have done that shit or like a could have been, should have been. <laughs> like, bro, that is literally niggas' worst fear. Like being a could have, could have, would have, should have ass nigga. Like, no, bro, you better do that shit now. Like whatever you need to do, bro, just do that shit now. Cause time waits on no man. Like this Not shit, fast. time is flying by faster than ever. So like you need to take action right now and do that shit. Put your dreams first, sacrifice whatever. Bruh. And you also have to be selfish. You have to be selfish when it comes to you and your dreams, bro. Like, that's really it. You gotta put your all into it. Some niggas that are, we'll have like speakers come to scatter or whatever. And the biggest thing they'll say is like, it's tough to keep it going. Like, you could be great and well off right now, mm-hmm. but longevity is a hard thing with clothes. Clothes change every year. It's something Thanks. every year. So you got to stay like on your toes, like what you want to do. And it's like, once like you can, it could be a famous nigga and they could drop like, ASAP Rocky could drop some bullshit. Niggas is going to buy it because of ASAP Rocky. Rocky. He's at, why I at the who end it is. of the day, is you're focusing on building like your actual name. Like fuck the clothes, fuck what you got to st- sell. Like take pride in it. But at the end of the day, like if you're like, your name whole weight. So yeah. heavy on personal brand, personal brand. Whole weight. That's why I like literally, uh, I don't think I've ever had like, uh, like I've had like product lines. Like when I had first, when I first started, I started like it was custom clothing. Like people would give me their clothes and then I'll put something on it and it'd just be like custom, right? Mm-hmm. So I never changed it like, uh, from my name. Like it's always been my name. And then like yeah. Mo was like a product line under my name. So I just kept it as my Damn. name. What? So customs by Nia Paul makes Mo, or yeah. is it Mo makes customs? It's the first, the first one, right? Because oh, okay. uh, I don't know. I learned that in my marketing class, like in ninth grade or something. Like what product lines, everything was like. You could do shit like that, and it won't change. Like a lot of people do. Like call me Mo, or like I usually like. I don't. I don't. I don't say that about myself. Like I don't like it, but. I rather people like Nia Paul is my actual name. Like it's my actual name. So mm-hmm. it's like when I'm introducing myself, it don't flack like a facade or anything. Cause like, nigga, that's my name. Like, <laughs> so, and then some people don't even believe me. Like I met somebody, uh, this man, and I'm like, yeah, my name is Nia Paul. Da, 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 da. And I have people now tell me like, yeah, that sounds like a, like a brand, like Nia Paul. 
They do. Right, stuff yeah. to look like. Like, I don't think it's nothing wrong with having like a inspiration or something like that. Because a lot of these clothing brands, like, they don't I don't really feel like they take a take attention to the quality and the details. And yeah. it, I think it goes down to everything, like the photo shoes, the everything. Like if your photo shoots, like I I don't understand how people don't look. They don't look at other people like they don't look at like the Nikes and the stuff like that. For like you don't you don't necessarily have to have your brand exactly like them, but like you can tell that the quality, like compare quality. I don't think yeah. a lot of people do that nowadays. They don't compare quality. Like I'm pretty sure y'all get on a y'all see other people's podcasts and stuff like that. And y'all be like, we want our podcast to look like this. Like look at look at their oh, setup. Yeah, all the time. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. It's that it doesn't look thrown together. So I I try to model my brand after some of these top brands where it's just like professionalism, the photo shoots, the customer service and stuff like that. I don't think a lot of people doing that. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I, I definitely see myself going this far because I know what I want my stuff to look like. I know what type of quality I want to have. That mindset alone sets you apart from so many other people. Bro, it does. Bro. Yeah, but like bouncing back on RP, like... I'm delusional, bro. Like I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm delusional. Like, but if I, I say, yeah, if I <laughs> if I say I'm gonna do something, yeah, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it, and nobody's gonna like steer me in the wrong direction. Nobody gonna take me off my track saying you can't do this. If somebody say you can't do it, it's just feeling the fire more for me. So I already knew, like I knew my brand was gonna come up. Yeah, it was just a matter of time when it was gonna come up. Yeah, it's just, crazy you say that the delusional part. Uh, my brother, like he was had this like little phase or whatnot where I would like, I would just be like asking like, bro, what you doing? Like, what you got going on? I can't tell you, bro, because if I tell you, <laughs> then, uh, yeah. uh, oh, he like, he like, if I speak it in the air type shit, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I understand that like, when people say things like, yeah, you give it out to the world. Nah, but the crazy like, thing is, bullshit. I'm delusional to the point where I tell you straight in your face, like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do like, shit. I'm just, like, for instance, when I started my YouTube, he was like, why are you doing YouTube? Everybody do YouTube, this and that. I told myself, but I give, I got monetized on YouTube in four months. Hey. It's a four months. Five years. The YouTube is so, but that's what I um the, the back to the delusional part, bro. I don't I don't really tell. I had to stop telling people, you know what I'm saying, asking for people's opinions. I think once you like, if yeah. you start getting bigger and all the opinions start coming in and man, because at the end of the day, bro, as like as a, as young as we are and stuff like that, we're gonna end up doing it what we want to do anyways. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So I had to stop asking for people's opinions and I had to stop asking people like, there's never, I don't want to say this like in a bad way, but like, there's it's never been done, 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 yeah. never done what I, that I, that you're trying I, to do. Not yeah. Even yeah. I'm trying to be cocky or anything like that, bro. Like, but I had to stop asking people for advice yeah. like that hasn't ran a business, they don't know the business or anything like that. I had to stop asking people all those type of questions and go get seek out people that actually know what they're talking about. Like everybody knows who they'll take advice yeah, from. For bro. sure. If you're smart enough, you gotta know who you gotta who you can take advice from. Cause some of these people they, they don't know what they're talking about. Some people they just close minded and they just think it's impossible. It's a lot of just be true to yourself. You know, live your life how you want to live your life. Don't live your life because somebody else said it or because somebody else wants you to live it. Live your life how you want to live it. Be true to yourself and then just enjoy your life. You only got one of it. To add on to that, I had a great friend who added something. See the world through your own lenses and move through your move with your own pace. Fuck the internet. Move at your own pace. Be you. Imani. Um, and I'm Kai. Um be okay with your emotions. Your emotions are not negative. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to acknowledge them. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be passionate. Live in your emotions and your truth, and you'll be the happiest. For sure. It's the co-host, Caleb, a.k.a. The Blazer, a.k.a. Phil, a.k.a. Mr. Tutra. Uh, I'm going to say be transparent. Try to be as transparent as possible. Don't always stick to the guidelines you were brought up in. Because if you were in this conversation today, a lot of motherfuckers would be extremely uncomfortable and be ready to leave. You gotta be transparent and hear out what somebody else has to say. That's what I'm gonna leave you with. For sure. I ain't got no mic, but shit, I'm gonna try it out today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Y'all wanna talk about that?